Hey, what's up you guys? I am back and today's video is going to be a back to school everyday makeup tutorial. Um, this is literally what I do every day. It's easy for school, it's really quick, and it's just convenient for school. So, yeah, if you want to see how I got this look right here, keep on watching. Okay, so the first step that I do, and I think everyone should do because your skincare is number one when it comes to makeup because if you don't have a good skincare resume your makeup will not look its best I just apply a moisturizer um, all over my face you know to prep the skin I don't use primer because I don't really believe in it I used to use it like religiously but it just didn't do much for me but everybody's skin is different so you might want to use a primer Okay, next, I had one of those, you know, I, I'm pretty sure we all know what this is, um, but it recently broke, like the handle broke, so now I'm just using it like this until I get a replacement. So I just like to apply the foundation straight onto the brush because I don't like having it on my hand. So I just go in and I just do dots everywhere pretty much so and I'm very red like I'm a tomato 24-7 I really need a full coverage foundation but if you don't need that then you definitely don't need it for school because it's fine <laughs> but I just like to be fully covered because of my redness so I go straight into my powder and I use this air spun powder. Everything that I use, I will try to link everything in the description. Since I'm not using concealer, I don't have to bake or anything. Usually my foundation is like the quickest out of all the steps in my makeup because, you know, I just apply it and then I just go in with the powder and then I'm pretty much done. Okay, so since my self tan is fading, I'm going to be going in a lot with my contour kit by Anastasia and I like to just I kind of tap it sometimes when I feel like being proper so just you know do that because I need to be able to see where I'm actually going when you're doing contour or bronze or anything like that you want to make sure instead of going down just in case go up more because it's easier to fix it when it's like too high because you're either gonna cover it up with your concealer or you're gonna cover it up with your highlight and it's gonna be fine but if you do it too low then that's kind of harder because then you have to use um, banana powder or a concealer to clean up the line so we're gonna be doing that anyway just because I like to be snatched and then I do go a little bit more on my forehead because you know that's supposed to look tan okay so still going in with the contour we're about to do the highlight and banana powder next but we're gonna just do all this contour stuff in one go I take this buxom eyeshadow brush um, as you can see just to create more structure all around instead of just one spot so. Okay, so then we're going to be blending it out with this e.l.f. contouring brush. We are going to be cleaning up with the same exact brush. So I only like to add the banana powder under here just to, again, clean it. Um, but I know some people like to go here. They like to use um, banana powder, which is also going to be the same thing. And this is honestly optional. Like, you really don't even have to do this. Like, I didn't do this until, like, a month ago. We're going to just finish off the face by doing our highlight. So, I like to use a stippling brush. This one's by Sephora. So, I have this bottle. It is not actually setting spray anymore I ran out but I just cleaned it up and filled it up with water this was a game changer for me so you want to wet your face first so that the highlight can it literally just makes it brighter like I don't know how I don't know the science behind it but we just 
I'm gonna go for it. We even use like Mac Fix Plus, like, but I don't got that kind of money. Or you can use rose water. And then I even do it on my forehead because I like a little more glow. Okay, so we're gonna go back in with it just so I can, because it dried. Um, so as you can see, you can see the highlight right there. Not too much. So for the nose, I like to go in with Bubbly from the That Glow Glow Kit. Um, it is discontinued now, I think. Uh, I got it like three years ago. And I just do my inner corner. And then I like to do the arch of my eyebrow. So that's pretty much it for the highlight. We're going to be moving on to eyebrows and eyes. For eyes, I don't do anything except for mascara. So I use the Anastasia um, Dip Brow in the color Medium Brown. Um, I've had this also for three years and I I'm barely seeing the bottom Yeah, I just go above right here to just fill that in So the next step for my brows is this NYX Control freak because my eyebrows do not Like to stay in place at all the next um, Is my eyes and it's just gonna be a simple step. I'm using the Falsies Volume Express Mascara. So while we wait for that, I'm going to be applying lipstick. So we're going to be Going in with it, you're going to be able to see the difference. So I just hold it for like however much time I feel. As you can see, my lashes are super long, but they did need that lift. So yeah, this is the look. Very simple. It takes me, I've timed myself. My fastest time is like 7 minutes and I don't know how many seconds, like 20 seconds. This is definitely good for school because, you know, I personally prefer to prioritize my sleep than my makeup. So that was my back to school makeup look. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. And if you guys want me to do more makeup tutorials, I can do that. Just let me know. Make sure to check the description for all my social media and also the products that I used today because I know I didn't really show them. So I think that's it. Um, still not good at outros. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.